a number of two digits, the digit in units place is one fourth of the digit in tens place. The number formed by re reversing the digits is 54 less than the number. Express the given conditions in the form of linear equations. Okay, so we proceed as follows to do this question 10, 10 A. Shall say ten A. Um, let X be equal to a digit. Digit in tens place. So you let Y equal to the digit. In units place. Okay. Um, and see for um, the digit in the units place is one fourth of the digit in the tens place. So that is uh, one of the equations there okay but if the digits are reversed like this one is actually showing us um, like this here um, let's see what did you do there okay um the number formed by re reversing the digits is 54 less than the number. So we're going to proceed to reverse the digits. And if we do reverse the digits, that, that means that first we start with um, what is given. And what is given is that we have a digit in the tens place. So with the digit in the tens place, there's going to be 10x plus y. And then we reverse the digits. If we reverse the digits, that means we're going to have 10y plus x. Okay, by re reversing the digits, then we're getting a number that's 54 less than the original number. And then we simplify this. And we proceed as follows. So you'll have 10x minus x, which is 9x, minus y minus 10y is exactly minus 9y equals 54 and from this we factorize factor out 9 is the common factor we have x minus y equals 54 now from this then we divide through by 9 okay you divide by 9 here divide by 9 there both left and right and what we're getting then is that uh, x is equal to x minus y uh, let me write it in red doesn't matter so i have x minus y is equal to 54 divided by 9 which is 6 okay so that is the answer there and then we continue to do to answer the question continue to answer the question and as we answer the question we answer it as follows Okay, we answer the question as follows. In the second part B, they're saying find the number. We want to find the number, so we answer 10B right now. So looking at 10B, Okay, to find the number, we'll say 1 is 1 quarter x, it's equation 1. Then the next one is x minus y is equal to 6, which is equation 2. And then now you put 1 into 2. And if you do that, you'll have um, that 
and put 1 into 2, and then we have x minus 1 quarter, 1 quarter x is equal to 6. And then if we continue um, simplifying this, we're able to get that this is 3 quarters of x is equal, equal to 6. And solving for x, we're able to see that x is 6 by 4 over 3, and that is 8. Okay, so which means that x is 8. But we remember that y is 1 quarter of x, which means it is 1 quarter of 8. 1 quarter of 8 is 2. And therefore, as a consequence, what is this number? Um, the required number. is equal to 10x plus y, which is 10 8 plus 2, which is 10 by 8, which is exactly 80, um, by plus 2, which is exactly 82. Okay. Now we continue to answer this question. So the number required by the examiner is actually 82. I'm going to continue to answer the question and look at the next thing, the last bit of the question. What is the last bit of the question? So I'm going to look at C now. You need to find the reverse number 2 as well, the reverse number 2. So we're going to look at um, 10c so we're, we're, we're going to look at the reverse number the reverse number okay what is the reverse number the reverse number you reverse and you get 28 by uh, reversing the two digits and that's the answer you know, we have solved this question, so yeah, so thanks everyone. Um, else now, would remember that um, the question we did here was basically to solve uh, this question, just to solve this, that's what we did. So, we're able to um, show that y is equal to x, x minus y is 6. You're able to find that the number is 28. Uh, the reverse number is obviously um, um, 28. Okay. So thanks everybody. A good bye to you.